Welcome back everybody to our weekly collective energy updates for energetically sensitives and empaths. I hope uh, you're having a good week. We're going to be looking at the next week, October 13th till 19th. And uh, this is something, if you are new to this, um, uh, that is uh, quite interesting for energetically sensitives to do, simply because we are actually already under the influence. We're already feeling the symptoms of the energies to come. So this is part of our subconscious um, precognition, if you will, and therefore, you know, it, it's um, difficult for us sometimes to contextualize what we're experiencing. And this is what these energy updates are for. They're supposed to give us this little heads up that uh, we can understand better what it is, you know, that we are currently experiencing. Because most of these things are things that uh, won't really materialize or manifest for the, the people around us a week or two later. So that's why the 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 the, the challenge here is often to, to hit these times, right? So I can only look at weeks uh, sort of as clusters of energies. And where do I get the, the data from? This is, uh, the, this is uh, produced here at Transcodes, a platform for um, uh, people who seek um, energy coaching, energy healing, and also a platform for healers or for people who use energy work um, to help other people. So uh, we have like a total group of I think uh, 50 trans coaches, um, you know, energy workers here at Trans Coach and um, a couple of hundred people every week uh, that come to the ongoing energy sessions that we have here. And this is where we get the data from. So um, what I'm presenting here every week is not really uh, uh, just uh, sort of, uh, uh, you know, it, sort of a prognosis or a forecast has actually already happened. So for most energetically sensitives, this is currently happening, uh, but we don't know yet what this relates to, and this is where these energy updates come in. I'm going to try to keep this uh, short and sweet for you guys, so I'm just going to give you an overview here for this next week. And uh, then I would like to spend more time with you guys because we are live. So my name is Yona Brindis and I'm an active uh, energy healer, and energy coach, and I'm right here to answer your questions or to comment on things that you're experiencing to help you contextualize this. And yes, uh, let me know where you guys are watching from, where you're coming from. I can already see New Mexico, uh, I can see Chicago. Hello, guys. Thanks for showing up. We've just had a change here in time zones, so people still have to get used to the different uh, airing times that we have here uh, since we moved our headquarters to Florida. And in case you're wondering, no, we did not get affected by the current hurricane, Michael. It could have been us, but this time it wasn't. Um, so my uh, all my love goes out uh, to uh, the people in Panama City and uh, the Tallahassee, Tallahassee area. All right, Ohio, I see you too. <laughs> all right, guys, so um, let's look at the preview here at next week. Um, and then um, if you want to have more detailed information about how you can integrate this into the different layers of your life, um, then... Um, you need to go uh, and check out, uh, you know, the different ways how you can um, uh, participate here in this uh, self-healing community that is formed around um, trans codes. One way, you know, is to come actually to these sessions that we're doing. Uh, another way is to book personal private energy sessions here with me or uh, any of our trans coaches or, you know, uh, become a member of our a Patreon channel where we release uh, preferred uh, content, you know, to people uh, who are uh, supporting this uh, Transcodes community here. So anyway, um, I call the uh, week ahead here uh, Correction Challenge, and yes, I've already um, mentioned this in the October forecast. We're going to feel like we are being forced 
to make corrections. And I, I talked about this in the forecast. I said, you know, this is not a correction that's based on judgment or based on uh, making mistakes or being flawed. This is a correction that you want to do in the name of improvement, in the name of refinement, in the name of, you know, having learned from your past. And for those of you who've been you know, in this spiritual uh, uh, sort of realm here for the last decades. For you, it's also very much about understanding how these karmic patterns that, that you uh, may or may not have already discovered in you, but how they actually manifest, materialize in the physical 3D. Hello, Canada. I see you. Yes, guys, if you just logging on... Um, I announced that I'm going to uh, keep the energy updates a little briefer from now on because I have the Patreon channel where um, I will talk about the energy tips and uh, the different uh, uh, sort of self-coaching uh, methodologies that we can use. And here I would really like to be there for you and answer your life uh, questions or questions and comments that you hopefully uh, do here in the, in the comment section of uh, the YouTube video. But uh, for those of us here who already have an inkling, you know, of, of certain patterns that are re recurring, that are repeating in our life, for us it's really um, important to understand now that our spiritual journey is a practical journey. It's a, it's a life journey, okay? It's not just something that takes place up here, okay? It, and, you know, to have emotions and to have ups and downs and all that is not low, all right? This is part of it, okay? And so... Uh, when I talk about mm, a correction challenge, I'm talking about, you know, changing our views and beliefs and especially some of the identifications that we have been dealing with here in the past. So this uh, coming week, October 13th to 19th, will bring in a very strong correction force. Okay, and it will feel kind of out of the blue, even though we've been talking about this forever. All right, but you will be forced to learn from the, your past experiences, from your past mistakes, from things that you didn't do optimally in the past in order to evolve. And understand this, right, guys? This is not like some outer force, you know, uh, or the darkness is coming over you. No, no, no. This is an inside job. This is your inside job, okay? To look at these patterns of your past, to look at some of the MOs, you know, that you... Uh, have developed over the years, you know, how you approach things and, you know, how these uh, basically lead to the same results over and over again. This is what I'm talking about. This is the challenge. And uh, if, there, if you, there is something that you can identify that is rubbing you the wrong way, then, then you know, and persistently rubbing you the wrong way. I'm going to talk about this you know, on uh, for uh, my Patreon subscribers, you know, things such as the resentful provider, you know, and things where we uh, feel like we're constantly sort of sacrificing our own energy for others and not getting enough back for this, all right? Um, but we really need to understand the layers that are involved in this. And so uh, there were some things that we identified with, you know, sort of these, these, uh, these ego identifications that I've been talking about for years, you know, that have led us to doing things in a certain way. And it's our job now to really uncover this, to, to, to let this unravel, you know, in these different areas of life, physically, emotionally, mentally, socially, you know, job, career-wise, and also spiritually to recontextualize this. One of the biggest challenges here next week will be this fear cloud. Okay, and um, the fear cloud is when, uh, you know, we allow sort of this, this uh, uh, autonomous nervous reaction that we have to outer challenges, you know, the, the fight, flight or freeze reaction that we have that comes from, you know, our limbic system. Uh, that will be the biggest challenge here next week because um, uh, for you, you know, this means that you're going to be thrown back into your old patterns, into your, the way you've always done it, okay? And um, physically, this uh, can lead to you feeling real foggy about things, you know, real um, uh, sort of wanting to cave in and not wanting to face things. So the, 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 the main energy tip here for this next week is face it, guys, and sit through it 
but stay awake, pay attention to your own MOs. And if you don't know how to do it differently, then my tip for you is just don't do it the same way as you've done it before. Challenge your fear, challenge your identifications, challenge your laziness or your, your comfort zone, challenge your ego. Allow your true self to challenge you on all levels. Remember, nothing is going to get eaten as hot as it gets cooked. That's kind of like a German proverb, so that doesn't really translate that smoothly into English. But what it means is that the irritability, the drama, and all this that we are experiencing in the moment is only, you know, showing us how much pressure, you know, there has uh, been over the years, you know, there has built over the years within ourselves. And this uh, materializes, you know, in our physical, in our emotional patterns, in our relationship patterns, in our money issues, in our uh, uh, spiritual uh, uh, problems, you know, well, the, 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 the search for meaning and purpose, okay? And you got to unravel these. There's These all come as layers around your heart that make it difficult for you to connect with your true self and come to like an authentic and congruent decision-making process. This is what this is all about, okay? So face it. And allow other people, you know, who may come in out of the blue this week and, and it may feel like an attack, all right? Allow them to reflect something to you and also allow yourself to reflect something to others, okay? And be really, really honest about it. But understand that the reason why you have been doing things in the past is because you couldn't see the bigger picture. So don't go into beating yourself up. Don't go into this, uh, this, this constant sort of what if and, you know, uh, this, this negativity that you have, you know, that does nothing but, but increase your anxiety. You know, go into that like center of your centers. Learn how to ground, how to center and how to self clear. Okay. There's some... Uh, really intense patterns that are coming up energetically here for the next week, which is why the barometer, the intensity level here of collective energies is, um, you know, it's gone into the orange. Uh, it's, the, it's indicating the pressure. It's indicating the irritability with other people um, and, you know, how, what this can trigger in you. So pick your battles wisely, guys, okay, and really look at how you identify yourself. What is, you know, the, the part of you that that you find the most congruent. As for me, personally, this week, and I, you know, have really been challenged in my fighter uh, energies, okay? So for me to not go all berserker and all destructive is the challenge this week. Because I have a nature in me, you know, that uh, if things get too much, if things get too challenging, you know, I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to destroy it and start all over again. So this is my personal challenge as far as my identifications is concerned. What about you? You know, are you, you know, like, uh, you know, sort of all la la and you know, oh yeah, I'm just gonna go with the flow and it's gonna work itself out. Mm -hmm. And not do anything about your money problems or not do anything about, you know, some of the, the toxicity or the, the dysfunctionality in your relationship. This is the challenge here this week, guys. You're going to have to face it. It is the time to find a new approach. I talked about this in length in the October forecast. Yes, and if you do, the, like the biggest mistake that you can do, or pretty much the only mistake that you can do, is to do things exactly the same way as you've always done them. You need to see this as a wake-up call from your true self, from your higher self, saying, we need a new approach. One of the main things that we as empaths and energetically sensitives need to learn, uh, and, and perhaps this is part then of our uh, uh, sort of uh, new approaches, is that we need to accept that we need to clear more. It's a constant skimming the lake. It's a constant, you know, shedding all these layers of energy that we absorb, be it physically, be it mentally, um, emotionally, um, you know, or energetically, it doesn't matter. As energetically sensitive, we are constantly under the influence, you know, of energies. Everybody is, but as energetically sensitive, we are, we are consciously feeling this. So for us, 
as new approach um, uh, needs that the new approach needs to include you know that we need to pay particularly um, uh, attention to self-care we need to clear ourselves maybe it means that we have to take more showers than others you know sometimes it does we need to learn how to ground our energy um, especially in times of uncertainty because uh, you know it's really really difficult if you don't train this um, uh, to discern you know where the, you know these energies are coming from you know the fear or the pain or you know sort of this 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 freaky drama energy is this yours or is this not and in order to to get to that place where you can discern that you know you really have to uh, learn how to center yourself and you have to learn yourself you know that you, you have to learn your inner lexicon of sensations and so this is uh, uh, you know the the grounding helps you to 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 stay in your own space okay and then the centering helps you to maneuver and to navigate better but while staying in your own space and then um, self-clearing methodologies are really important for you guys uh, you to adapt to even if you think it's woo woo it doesn't matter you know because uh, there are some things you know that you're gonna have to deal with more than other people and so uh, smudging and um, you know working with essential oils um, this week is, pro is, a, is a really good week to work with lavender you know just to calm your nervous system to meditate you know to, to open yourself up for mindfulness you know those are things that you are literally being challenged or being forced into now Okay, guys, um, I have to uh, get ready here for the uh, energy tips and detail for the, the Patreon subscribers. I hope this is not disappointing for you that I'm not going to go into the depths anymore, but this is part of my new approach. You know, I need to pay my bills. I need to pay, you know, for my things. And if I want to keep this in, in a balanced energy exchange, you know, then I have to ask you guys, you know, who like the content, who like, who, who really you know, enjoy the energy tips and, and uh, who uh, really find, uh, you know, sort of uh, uh, transformative things in there, you know, to contribute in some way, okay? And this is all going to be handled through the, the Patreon um, channel where I'm uh, still continuing to um, uh, write blogs for, you know, really explain things in detail and also uh, continue to do these energy updates on a uh, layer for layer uh, level as I've always done um, but I wanted to keep things a little shorter here and so uh, I'm I'm really embracing your guys' contributions and I hope that you uh, want uh, you know if you want to take advantage of this free public service here then use the the the, um, the comments below yes thank you guys for coming thank you for contributing and if you are a patreon subscriber of trans codes then um, expect um, the detailed uh, energy update and the energy tips uh, and the, the, the energy coaching uh, on uh, Friday. Thank you. Yes. Bye bye everyone.